Well, I was always fascinated by the way in which materials react to the human body, materials react to any, actually, biological environment. And at the beginning, I thought it was some sort of recent development of medicine, but the history goes back up to 5,000 years ago, where in South America, they used the gold plate to repair broken bones. And at the beginning, it was just about fixing, temporarily fixing some issue. Then it became repairing in the way that you can still do what you used to do. And now it's about comfort and about the regeneration of what has been broken. In our laboratory, we research about materials, we research about how to regenerate the bone tissue, we research how to give back people the same standard, the same quality of life they were used to. We need to understand that uh, different materials interact with the human body in a different way and all materials have a potentially some biological effect. Sometimes it's about their chemical composition, but sometimes it's just about their shape or their size, so nanoparticles behave in a different way. But this is also a matter of stability and how long the implant can stay once they are implanted inside the human body. What we want is something that we implant one time and stays forever. Of course, this is something we are going through, some really successful implants like the hip implant can last up to 25 years, which means once implanted, they probably stay there for the rest of your life. But still, after that amount of time, we need to undergo surgery again and change the implant with a new one, which can be a trouble, especially for the elderly. We are now shifting our research going from hard materials that once implanted stay forever in their position to more soft materials and fabrics that can be used as resorbable materials and can also release drugs that can help and promote the regeneration of the tissue. For example, you can imagine to apply this material on the skin, over time it will disappear, and while it disappears, it releases some specific drugs that help the skin rebuild itself. And this kind of technology can also be used to produce some filters filters that can capture small particles, filters that can kill viruses and bacteria. And this kind of filters can be then used for masks or even for filters for ventilation systems in the rooms.